Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. Head shave time, I'll be doing a face shave as well. I've got two days growth on the head and the face. I'm going to be using a soap which has evaded my den for three years. Having tried Kent Shaving Soap, which is basically Mitchell's Wool Fat rebranded, I have taken a plunge and got some Mitchell's Wool Fat. Now, I haven't got the ingredients here. I'm not sure what the ingredients are. I'm pretty sure it's reasonably natural. I'm plumped for the film thing, you know, the ceramic dish, the, the soap. Now the soap is rock hard, it's like a brick. So as per a lot of people have said, just sprinkle some water on the top. I've just moved the water on the top so the whole top of the puck is covered. I'm not going to do anything, I'm not going to lift it up just now. I'm probably just going to lather it down there as well. Just leave the water sat on top of it. Now, I'm using two brushes today, one for the head, one for the face. I'm going to use my natural hair, Magard Two Band Badger Manchester United brush today because that's in my rotation as my next brush and for the face shave I'll be using my turn and shave with the 26 mil it's a 26 mil quarter moon knot so I've got my brush soaking now I was going to do a cold water shave today but because this came I just have a sneaky suspicion that it's going to work better with warm water don't hold me to that I don't actually know I've got no idea I'm not sure whether it's a damp brush or a wet brush, no, no idea. So I'm going to flick out most of the water and leave this reasonably damp, not wet. And just go straight into the tub. I'm going to be off camera, obviously. Now, if you watched my... Oh, I can get up here. If you watched my use of Kent shaving soap, it wasn't great. It was very average actually. Hang on a minute, I'm going to pick this up. It's a bit of a nightmare. I have no idea how Don over at Wet the Face lies this in a bowl on a table. I just not saying that. It doesn't help when you've got one of these on. Last day today, hopefully, fingers crossed, it comes off tomorrow and I can start my rehab and get my arm back to full strength and get back into work again. It's doing my head in being at home, but it's also doing my head in not having that wage coming in. It's really made a bit of an impact in the household and it's, my wife's really held it all together to be honest. She makes good money, which is good. She, she works hard for it. She's a nurse lecturer at TAFE at college, so she teaches nurses, upcoming nurses at least, enrolled nurses. Right, so what I'm getting here is loads of foam, like loads of it. Now, I don't think that is actually lather, it just looks like actual like proto lather. So I'm going to load even more and I'm going to dip the tips. I'm not, I'm, I'm winging this. I've got no idea what's going to happen today with this soap. Now, when I used Kent shaving soap, Kent soap the last time, which is rebranded Mitchell's Wool Fat, I was very inexperienced at wet shaving. I think I'd been shaving for about six months or so, maybe less, when I actually got stuck into that soap. And of course, no idea really what I was doing if I'm, in all honesty. I didn't see many videos like lathering technique videos back then even though there, there was some. To be honest I probably didn't go looking for them. I probably was more interested in trying to find my own way so I'm going to go with that. Now that's really airy and shit so to be honest with you I'm not going to hold my breath. Now it's slick. I can feel the slickness of my fingers. Now this is a no prep shave. I had my shiver this morning, which was several hours ago. I'm just going to scoop that off my finger, put that on there. And just wire, wash my other hand off in the water without wetting the cast. Right. Now, there's a lot of soap still in this bowl. It's not really soap, it's pro lather, but I'm going to try and scoop it all out. Every little is going to help me with this soap, I think. Now it's triple milled. And let me t like I said at the start there, it is rock hard, like super rock hard. I don't remember the Kent shaving soap being so hard. It's just got a clean soapy scent that smells like soap. It's very slick, 
It's very hard to get off my hands in the water. And I can see the soap on the top of this brush is dissipating like crazy right now. So what I'm going to do, this is going to take a while. I think I'm going to have much better results with the synthetic, but I'm actually going to work this lather or this foam. This is really foamy. I'm going to work it for a while without any water and just beat the air out of it, hopefully. That's my theory. But I'm not expecting great things. Like I say, I still have memories. I can still remember using Kent shaving soap and it was dreadful. And this is Kent shaving soap. Just named what it should be named, which was Wolfram. Now, I believe there is a very sweet spot for this soap with water. Now, what was very hard as well, so more likely this would work better with distilled water or I don't know, purified water, whatever you want to use, but I'm not interested in that. I want a soap that lathers well with the water at my taps. I'm not interested in... To be fair, the scent is quite strong. It's stronger than I thought it was going to be. And it smelled... I don't remember what Kent shaving soap smells like, but this smells like a soap I've never smelled before, so it's... Like, I know it's been, been years since I used Kent. Right, now I'm looking in the mirror, and that looks like I've beaten most of the bubbles into submission. So it just looks like a pasty, pasty lather now. Now, this doesn't feel dense at all. It feels very, very airy. I mean, is it dissipating? I don't think it is. So I'm going to dip the tips now. And just slowly add some water in. Just bit by bit. This is obviously going to be a reasonably long video. I've seen so many good lathers with a soap online on YouTube. I hear so many great things about Mitchell's Roll Fat. The post shave is meant to be exceptional. The actual properties of the soap itself for the shave are meant to be absolutely amazing. Very sleek and very protective. The scent is quite nice. I don't mind the scent at all. I can tell you right now, I'm getting a pretty good lather from it. You can see that's starting to really thicken up now. So I'm going to dip the tips again. Now you've got to bear in mind, like I said, when I used Kent shaving soap, I was very inexperienced, very new to wet shaving, traditional wet shaving, that is. Didn't really know what I was doing. I've obviously not mastered laddering, but I'm pretty good at it now. Self-professed that not being too bad at it. You know, it's taking me a long time to get to where I am with shaving. I can tell you right now though, that that's not going to be a dissipating ladder. That's pretty creamy. Now this soap puck here will last me Probably the rest of my life, to be honest, because it's not a soap I would reach for all the time. It's, it's not a, a, I like scented soaps. I like soaps to smell like, you know, bring back memories. Memory jogging soaps are just scents that I like in general. I'm getting a sore arm now. Oh. I'm just going to do the tips again. I'm going to stop soon because, to be honest, my arm's starting to ache. But you can probably see the nice gloss on there. And that's dense. That's a, that's a dense lather. It really is. I'm really happy with it. It feels like a very high quality soap. Now, if this is what I'm getting from... I mean, this is too dry, I'll be honest with you. So it needs a bit more water. I'm just going to add it. I'm just going to do it. I'll get it to the right saturation. I'm just going to double dip. There we go. That'll do me. I don't mess about anymore. I'll be here all day. I'm really impressed, actually. I'm, I'm very, very impressed. I mean, how good it's going to shave, I don't know. But that, that's a pretty, pretty awesome lather. The scent strength is good, really good. 
I was expecting it to be like a two or a three. I would say it's around about four. It's, it's actually pretty, pretty good. Just give me a second. Oh, just going to open the window and get a bit of fresh air in here. Getting a bit stuffy. Right, the razor for today is my start razor with a 0.9 millimeter blade gap open comb. I'm going to use that for my head and face shave. I've got like a 10 to 11. I don't know how many times it's used. I think it's more than 10 now. Gillette Super Stainless Despoiler American Blade. And I'm going to go with that against the grain today. My arm is aching already. Here we go. This is a heavy razor, so it's not helping. Aluminium razor. Beautiful. But here we go with the grain. I don't know whether this is going to jump or skip when I go against the grain because obviously it's got a lot of shaves on it now, this blade. So yeah, this, this soap needs a, another coating of water. That's pretty damn smooth. Let's see, I've never used actual Mitchell's wool fat. This is the first time of it. You can see there that that's clogging up because there's not enough moisture in the lather. It's actually really sticking to the, the, the blade. I may have to add some more water to stuff it. Let's go. It's cleaning out, it's just not cleaning out as good as I want it to. Very smooth razor. Well, it's cleaning out now. I wonder if I just had a bit of a, just a dry spot. The Gillette blade is peeling through the hair with the grain at least, it might not against the grain but with the grain at least it is Now Kevin Shaves did mention or he messaged me on my last video and said that this razor with the open comb shaves just as smooth as a closed comb Now, of course, I haven't had the best of shaves or the best shave with this razor on my head so far. It was quite jumpy and skippy against the grain the last time out. But I put that down to a blunt Voskhod blade. I never thought about a blunt blade actually causing that issue. And obviously someone mentioned it to me and it makes perfect sense. So hopefully I'll get enough out of this one that I can go against the grain. And if not, if it starts skipping straight away, I'm going to switch out to my standard. So you can see that the lather is actually far too dry. It's just clogging up the razor. So I'm going to empty the sink out here. I may even just rinse the water through it to see if that helps. It's a bit noisier. I don't really like doing that. Just clean the sink out of it. I mean, that certainly cleans it out better, but even then it's still clinging on there for grim death. It really is. Now, of course, Mitchell's wool fat is known the world over for its post shave. More than any other property, I would say. Although, to be fair, it's extremely slick. Very slick. I think this is going to be another one of those where I'm a bit disappointed with myself that I didn't actually get it when I sort of got better at shaving I suppose right let's just oh yeah well obviously I grabbed a lot of soap there as well but no the slickness is phenomenal I do like the scent of it I think it's a very nice scented soap It's hard work getting it off your hands. Right, so let's 
go back to wire that number two. Yeah, I can certainly see the the, the light, why people like this soap and why it's revered by white shavers alike all over. Now this is essentially a review of the soap, it's also a review of the razor with the 0.9 open comb, which is shaving very well, obviously. I've just added a little bit of water into that bit, it gobbled it up, it hasn't foamed up, it hasn't gone aerated. This lather is going nowhere and it's dense, creamy, thick, glossy, slick, it's got everything you want and it smells pretty nice, I quite like the scent of it. It's it's an inoffensive scent, it's not a scent I would pick up and go, oh, I love that, it just smells like silk. But... Isn't that amazing? Using a 10th use vintage blade. It feels incredible. There's no skipping this time around. I've obviously hydrated enough now that it's just clearing out beautifully. This soap is really slick. Can't really say much more about it. I mean, I can understand what with these blades, why Gillette stopped making them. Because to be honest, ten plus shaves, and it feels like a brand new quality blade. I mean, it's absolutely peeling that hair off. Quick shake in the water. I mean, that was a very quick shake. Another one, there was a little bit of soap in the back of it, but... I mean, that's just amazing. Absolutely no skipping at all this time around, so the blade is obviously the issue, that was the issue last time. Well, I have to say one thing, it's one of the best soaps I've used. <laughs> It's so slick, especially for head shaves. I mean, if it's the same on the face, wow, I'm going to be very impressed. But the slickness, the residual slickness on it, is as good, if not better, than most things I've used. I mean, it's really top draw slickness. It's an expensive soap for what it is, but gosh, it's got it last year a long time, so. This is a real investment soap, this one. You're spending a bit of money to get it. Well, I mean, I'm almost BBS. I'm just gonna have a bit of water, I'm gonna scoop that a bit. Yeah, wow, that slickness. <laughs> uh, I, I'm, I'm quite annoyed with myself that I haven't grabbed this sooner. I've had so many people saying, just try it again, see how you go. I mean, that's, that's incredible slickness. In fact, I'm gonna show you how good this slickness is right now because I'm gonna finish off my touch-ups just for, I mean, you can see how shiny that is just on my head. Wow. Look how fast I can move. I'm getting no, nothing. It's just gliding over my skin. It's phenomenal. To be fair, I don't think I've ever felt this confident with the slickness of the soap. 
Believe it or not, one of the closest products I've used is just the one I used recently, the, the Secret Artisan, in terms of sleekness. But, this is very good. In fact, to be honest with you, it's better than very good. It is excellent. This is a top, top soap. What more do you want, really? I am pretty much BBS other than there. I'm just going to dip my hand again. Look at that. Wow. It doesn't go away. It's just there all the time. And this is an open comb razor as well, so the skin sort of passes more onto the blade. Holy smokes, I'm blown away. I've been having some cracking shaves of late. The razors are making a difference, obviously, the aluminium car coming into the day. To be fair, that's one of the best head shaves I've had with a DE razor. I would even say, other than the weight of it, I would say it's probably a nicer shave than what the car was. Now I will say one thing, I think I've got a couple of little either nicks or weepers in the back because I was getting a bit of pain on the on the rinse off. It's tiny, tiny, tiny little weepers, nothing else. I'm going to leave that just to dry off and, and leave it as is, but today it was Mitchell's Wolfer and wow, really, really impressed this, really impressed me. Just a crack and soap, lathered up beautifully I think, I thought I was going to struggle with it to begin with, but it's got a lovely scent, it's got a really nice scent, nice clean, crisp, soapy scent, but it's not, it's almost got a cologne type thing happening. But apparently the post shave is amazing, I mean I'll talk more about, oh, post shave is amazing. Wow. Oh, what have I missed out on all these years? I'm amazed. Yeah, I've slaughtered this soap for since I had Kent shaving soap, saying it's shit, can't lather it, it's crap. Mainly my problem, I, I couldn't lather it. Now I can. And wow, you reap the rewards of it, you really do. I was going to use a post shave product today, but I'm going to leave it as is. I'm going to do my face shave, just leave my head and my face as is, and just see how it holds up. Just with that, but I tell you right now, that's as moisturised as you'll get with any soap I've used. That's incredible. The brush for today for the head shave was my Leo Frio Manchester United brush. As you can see there, 26mm Magard knot. This was re knotted by Reyes Restores, he does a cracking job. No damage to the handle at all when he re knotted it and set it a perfect loft. I'm really, really impressed with that brush now. I love it. And the razor for today was the Start Razor 0.9mm open comb made in Russia, CNC machined in Russia. I'll pop the details of this down below the website and stuff if you want to go and have a look. These are $177 delivered worldwide, American dollars, for the full set with four base plates, the handle, and the top cap in polished ore matte finish so it's pretty good price really and it, it's a heavy chunky industrial made razor and if you're not into polished stainless you don't want it to get marked and stuff like that don't worry about it this type of polished stainless is like an industrial type it's not mirror polished it'll actually look nice as it ages and gets little fine scratches and things it will go with the razor it'll look good it won't look shit and other than that i'm going to head over to my face shave i'm quite happy and quite excited about this stay safe drive safe don't drink and drive and i'll catch you guys next time cheers